convert 288 centimeters to yards. So these are nice word problems. They don't have very many words. There's only one number in this problem. So that must be where we're starting. 288 centimeters, and then we'll leave some space, and we're trying to get to yards. The path that you take depends on what conversion factors you either know or have available to you. If you can look up a relationship between centimeters and yards, you could do this in one step. I don't know what that number is. So you might think, okay, well, we've got centimeters and we've got yards. Um, we need to go from metric to English somewhere. I know the relationship between centimeters and inches, so I could go from centimeters to inches. Yeah, you could go inches to feet and feet to yards. And some people might say, well, I know how many inches are in a yard. I'm going to skip that, and that would be fine. But we'll do this one. So we've made up this path, and each of these arrows represents a conversion that we know or can look up. The relationship between centimeters to inches, inches to feet, feet to yards. That's our path. It's going to tell us where to go. So I write down 288 centimeters. I look at my path. There are three arrows. I'm going to have three conversion factors. The units in my path become the units in the numerator. This is like Dora chanting centimeters to inches to feet to yards. And then you come down here and you write centimeters to inches to feet to yards. The units in the denominator come from the previous term. I'm starting with centimeters. I want those to go away. So I need to divide by centimeters. Centimeters divided by centimeters cancels out. So I want centimeters down here because those will cancel out and go away. I have inches here. I need it to go away, so I'm going to divide. Inches cancel out. And then I write feet down here, and the feet will cancel out. The unit that's left is yards, and that's what I was trying to find. This is dimensional analysis because you analyze and solve the problem based on the dimensions, the units. The units tell you what to do. This is a very, very important technique. In examples like this, you may say, oh, well, I don't need to go through all that. I can do that easier. That's fine. But when we get to stoichiometry and you're converting grams of oxygen into grams of hydrogen or liters of hydrogen, the way you do Lengths isn't going to work, most likely, because these are kind of strange quantities that you're not familiar with. We got all the units, and now we need numbers. Well, let's just do the middle one first, just for fun. What's the relationship between feet and inches? 12 inches and 1 foot. So 1 foot, and there's 12 inches. How about yards and feet? 3 feet is 1 yard. And then, we've done this one a couple of times today. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. Now, if we put the 12 on top, bless you, and had one on the bottom, we'd have 12 feet equals one inch. Is that true? No, it's ridiculous, isn't it? 12 feet is a really, really long distance. It's more than one inch. You have to get the unit with its number. To do this on your calculator, I recommend that you just start at the left side and go across. 288 times the top, divide by the bottom, times the top, divide by the bottom. Of course, multiplying and dividing by 1 doesn't change anything. But some students feel more comfortable putting it in there. They're like, no, I just need to follow the pattern. That's fine if you do that. Personally, I don't enjoy multiplying by 1. So I'm going to do 288 divided by 2.54 divided by 12 divided by 3 equals. 
And then my calculator gives me this big long answer, 3.14960.6299. The unit is yards. And now that we know about significant figures, we can practice that. How many significant figures should the answer have? Three. The starting number had three significant figures. Each of the unit factors here is an exact conversion. Exact conversions do not change the number of significant figures. So we're going to say this is 3.15 yards. Any questions? There's a technique called the bigger smaller rule. If we look at centimeter and yard, which is the bigger unit? Which is longer, a yard or a centimeter? A yard. So the bigger unit, yard, should have the smaller number. The smaller unit should have the bigger number. A common error is students get their numbers upside down, and then it gets bigger instead of smaller, or vice versa. So looking at the bigger, smaller can help you catch an error.